is I want to show you Nautilus Toy Collector Magazine number 12 of 1989. It is a special Batman 50th anniversary issue. And I want to give you an idea of what it was like to be a Batman fan at this time and a collector at this time. It was not like these days. It long before the days of eBay, and we had to rely on going to shows, flea markets, yard sales, and there was a publication you could buy items out of called Toy Shop Magazine. It was a large newspaper, and it was really exhausting. But this is a special issue, and it's chock filled with vintage Batmania. The 8 inch Migos, on card, the Lego, coin banks, the lunchbox. Gives you a bit of history on Batman, showing the 40 serials, 43 and 49. And this is how we were able to know what was out there, what was made. You know, there's the Mattel 66 Switch and Go, Penguin Aurora, the Joker hand puppet, which is a killer Joker piece. The Mark Spat phone, which I feel like it, that's a must. The Parco Robin boots, which is really an interesting piece. and. It's interesting because they never made a Batman pair of boots. That talks about the television series, the Ahi skydiving parachutists, the Transigram flying Batman, the Aurora model kit, killer Jerry Robinson Joker cover. I'm going to be doing a video soon on 66 Batman drinks from a carton. Fruit drink, chocolate milk, the marionette string puppet from Madison from 1977. A tribute to Bob Kane. And they're showing what has to be his most valuable, well, and most memorable covers outside of Batman's first appearance. Philadelphia had a Batman exhibit at the Please Touch Museum back in 89. Well, actually, it ran June of 90. So, the 89 Batman craze after the Tim Burton blockbuster was so strong that it went on well into 1990. This is the best page, obviously, because it's showing... The ideal playset, the ideal utility belt, Captain Action, Action Boy, Batcave carrying case, figure set, the top import export, walkie talkies. Bat 15. I love that plate. I just love that turquoise. There's the marionette from 66. Some of the LPs that were made back in the 60s. Fork and spoon set by Imperial. Copyright infringement warning for unlicensed Bat merch, which there was a ton of. I'll have to do a video about that. And look, this shows you all the different companies that acquired a license to produce Batman merchandise back in 66. Stardust set, Mattel's Bat Bomb, the first item ever produced by Mattel. The Pressman Kite, which is the most common Batman piece produced, you know, 
by pressmen, um, you'll find more of the kites. I actually found nine of them for a dollar each. Um, there's the 1969 Koner Batman Push Puppet. Showing the top scum cards. The Mad Issue from 66. Some frame tray puzzles. Batmobile model kit. We go into models, and there's the Burry's store display promoting the Aurora Batmobile. Someone's custom 50s style Catwoman rest and figure. And a Lewis Wilson Batman custom. Penguin Aurora. Those were the instruction sheets for the Aurora Penguin. Another image that Barry Krause um, did a tribute of, and that would be Batman 27, Santa Claus cover. But this is... Um, always nice to to see you get an idea of what it was like you know um, and and what items that were emphasized as as like really outstanding Infantino and some of his covers Super Queen's Batgirl the cartoon kit by Color Forms Batman Soki by Colgate Palmolive. We move into the Migos. Joker Mobile, which obviously was recycled from the mobile Bat Lab that Migo produced, which was really just a Volkswagen bus. These rare statues. Nicholson Joker. There's Jerry Robinson. Durham foam bat plane from the 70s. Special Batman pinup page throughout the years. And it's all vintage now. There's Toy Shop. That's what I was telling you about. It's been gone since 2008. And that's it. Bob Kane's tribute to Batman. He did this artwork. 